I like I'm not going to lie. I really I really like Groundhog Day plots. But most games do it really poorly or really boringly. And I've always wanted to do a D&D campaign based on like the Groundhog Day loot. You have let's say 3 days, a week, a month even to do something. You know, you have some goal. And, uh... I'd say you have, you have some, like, specific goal, and... And you have to complete it within, like, the certain time limit. Otherwise, like... You know, you fail and you get sent back to the beginning. So for people that don't know what Groundhog's Day is, there's a movie, a Tom Hanks movie. Hi. They're both looking at it now. Hey, look at this! Statue to open its eyes! Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Uh, me too. I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Is there something you needed? Where are the other travelers? Oh, let's see. Chert is on the Hourglass Twins, Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow, and Gabro's in Giant's Deep. Oh, and there's Feldspar, Spar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or even if they're still alive. Feldspar has been lost for a very, very long time, I'm afraid. But so there's something you needed. Tell me about Feldspar. Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach, Gasson, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gasson did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted and everything Slate ever built. It was a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew, flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. And then one day, they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. It's been a long time since they left. Okay. Uh, let's see. We get new dialogue. Verified. Okay, so it's the same dialogue we've done before. Supposedly they're coming out with the Groundhog's Day 2. Huh. I don't know if I'd I'd like that necessarily. Um Oh Bill Murray, not Tom Hanks. Sorry, I always get Bill Murray and Tom Hanks uh mixed up. Cause for whatever reason they're like identical in my head. Like if I if I search my memories, any and every Bill Murray everything is interchangeable with Tom Hanks, which is hilarious because they have nothing to do with each other. Uh, for the most part. And like their con style of movie isn't even that similar. I just I don't know. Maybe it's because they look the same. Kind of pudgy, curly haired, like middle aged dudes ish. Okay, but yeah, so effectively he's stuck reliving Groundhog's Day over and over and over again until he can get some kind of satisfactory result. All that you read and see is still on your ship's computer. That's, that's good. So... I think I'm gonna leave this alone for the time being. There's something to do with it, but I don't think we can do anything with it. I just want to get a good sense of if there's anything else important on this planet, or if I should probably just head out. Because that's the runes. Well, oh, that's how you land. Okay. I was having trouble with that. Okay, so where this is? Just realized why it says error duplicate signal. Really? Why?
Whoa, something took a giant chunk out of the moon. Probably their mining project, if anything. Let's head for the uh, smoke first. I'm gonna have trouble getting to this planet. Okay, there we go. Oops. Okay, so we can take damage if we land too hard. <laughs> I died. <laughs> I forgot to put on my suit. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I made several mistakes. Well, all right. See you to space. Dude's probably just like, what the hell? He just woke up and he's just gone. All right, fine. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, I can't wait till I have Shell play this. In fact, I um, I think I'm gonna finish this session. I actually have a spare code. I bought this for myself, thinking that I wasn't gonna co get a copy. And no, uh, is it Brittle Hollow that's the moot? Oh, sweet Bessie. What? Okay, Brittle Hollow. Was that the moon? No, that's pretty far away. Oh, that's whatever the hell that is. Where's the freaking moon? Because I'm pretty sure it's not Brittle Hollow. Because th those are the twin moons. There it is. Oh, engage autopilot. Okay, landing mode seems a little safer. I understand things. Okay, so this time around, let's put the spacesuit on before we start just wiggling around in space and then inevitably dying horribly. All right, so what's this? Or museum stuff, mainly. Esco signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gosan their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybeck's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know what it was. Probably nothing. No, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timberhearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope's broken. I better talk to Nice. So he's he's in the bramble thing. So we have to figure out how to get in there. Okay, I'm just going to keep my suit on for the time being.
let's try and find... Oh, well, there's just a house there. Actually, I think that's them right there. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna call this landing. <laughs> I think I barked it on a tree. Wait, what? I suffocated out here. What the? What? Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Do another travelers come by? Uh, Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabro's Gabro. And you know how Ryback feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go. I, uh, I mean, anything else you wanted to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with Ground Control, Hornfels and Gosan mainly, and they radio up to chat now and then. When Ground Control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout of the village. They forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as other travelers, since I'm always in one place. It's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that out in our, get that in our solar system, let alone in our village. What was that you were whistling? Probably, probably, or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon. Really, just go north. You can't miss it. What is this place? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Oh, stars above your series, aren't you? That's just depressing. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships need, uh, ships tended to, uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost to cut down on the number of launches and landings takes, taking place in the village, also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from Timber Hearth and keeping an eye on things. Unidentified signal nearby. Ah, signal identified Esker. Yeah, so we we can identify the various people. Okay, so the reason why there's oxygen here is actually because of the trees. Which is pretty impressive, all things considered. Okay, so we can put this way. I don't think there's anything else here. So do we want to head north? So that's the, the that's the North Pole. I think I'm just gonna hop back on the ship and we'll go land at that other point of information. Or er, yeah, there's a paper saying when out of oxygen approach a tree. Yeah, I'm just I'm a little baffled by the fact that that's uh super possible considering everything. Okay, so we've done that. I don't know if there's anything particularly useful there. But yeah, there's a giant goddamn crater. On the moon. Oh. See, all tools are usable on the ship. Uh, what? Oh, so that's how I refill my jetpack. I I can return return the suit. Doesn't look like I have much else immediately here. Okay, so what is this? Crash ship of some variety. Doesn't look like I can do anything with it, though.
Yeah, whatever it is, it's it's nothing. I'm getting nothing from it. Okay. Oh, I see. The signal, the probe, etc. Gotcha. Okay, so whatever whatever that crash lander is, I can do nothing with it. Okay, a couple of craters. But then we've got this giant mess. Whatever this is, I should probably take a look at it. But yeah, so to go back to my thing about like wanting to do a uh, D and D campaign based on like Groundhog's Day, it's it's one of those that I really want to do it, but I think it's going to be one of those that I'll have to wait for. Uh, refill check pack. Uh, it's one of those I think I'll have to wait until I have like more EXP as a DM before I do that sort of thing because I think it would be really satisfying uh, to have like this very limited scope mystery. Where the players have to kind of keep a, a schedule for every NPC they meet uh, that's important. And, like, solve clues and maybe fight some things and so on and so forth. I don't know. Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice in the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I posit the Adelrock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lives. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on the other astral bodies in the solar system. So straight up Dark Bramble is quite literally a bramble and wrecked a planet. Oh, that'd be interesting. The keeping it limited would allow for really detailed and compelling NPCs. Yup. But kind of thing that I'd really want to have, like, okay, one more place to check on the moon. All right. Um. Oh, it's it's that. The thing I bounced near and died. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. What the hell? It locked in on that planet. What does that give us? Okay, so it doesn't know where that one is. Important symbol, though. Okay, so that locks it on the sun. Shit, there's something moving in there.
Okay, so we got some oxygen. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun. Giant's Deep and Brittle Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasava. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Whoops. I? Oh. Oh. Where should where should this new more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Anona and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always had a, held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I'll begin construction on Brittle Hollow's south pole immediately then. Oh, got a tree. The trees in this look great, by the way. This game is eye candy. Like, pure, unadulterated, just looks great. Sorry. I gotta move things around. Uh, I was only gonna play a couple hours of this, and I think I might have to go back on that. Okay, wow. I've seen this rune in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself? It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, for some official notes. So, this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool. By the way, uh, incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fall, fly there and see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe, oh, stars above. So who is that? No, we actually have no idea. Who said that? And yeah, that's the eye of the universe again. Okay. Well, we learned some interesting things. I This is rad. Okay, Chert was afraid of flying ships. Got it. Because, yeah, it wasn't Feldspar. Feldspar isn't afraid of anything. Check back of the ship. You mean my ship? Oh, you mean the logs. Yeah, this. So, no my mines, Ashwin Project. This is cool. Okay. Esker's camp. Oh, I can mark the location. I signal locator. A Nomai device was created to pinpoint the source of distant signals. Nomai were disappointed by their failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. Esker's growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. A lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. Esker uses their sig signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers.
Right back headed to the Brittle Hollow to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Nomai def decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator. Okay, so a lot of this stuff we already know. Launched a seed from Dark Bramble, crashed here, and has already taken root. Tektite wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. I launched my little scout into the seed. Somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. When I launched my scout into the seed, the crashed on Timber Hearth. It ends up somewhere in Dark Bramble. Okay, so we're done with that. Gabro. Went to Giant's Deep to try and learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. God, Shell, will, Shell is going to go bananas for this game if, if she has the chance to play it. And I certainly hope she does. The Nomai sealed something away inside the core of Ash Twin. Nomai, my door, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we know about that. Yeah, so there's a portal inside the seed. I thought the seed actually was just digging into the planet core, but that's a little bit less apocalyptic at the very least. Let's see, try and have a view of the sun as it explodes. I don't think it's the sun that explodes. that thing in the middle there? That's the interloper. The hell is the interloper? I want to say the interloper is probably what kills us. God damn it, I'm going to fly into the sun, aren't I? Gage autopilot. You are correct, I should use the autopilot. I can't. Okay. I'm going to land on this thing. Uh, maybe I shouldn't. Is that the... What is that? That's Ash Twin. So that's probably my time limit. I don't... Yeah, where's the kaboom? I 
I was kind of hoping I could see it go explodey because the interloper went in there. What the hell is that? Oh. Didn't mean to land here. Uh, jeez. Oh, that is precarious. Okay. There's the sun. My timing was decent. Decent-ish. Oh no, cut. Damn, don't. No, 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 no. What? Well, I think I'm falling inside this planet. Not that it matters too much. So yeah, whatever goes into the uh, the interloper that goes into the, the sun destroys everything. Okay. So that was that was cool. I this is the kind of game I would want to play in parallel to Shell or some or somebody else, multiple other people, uh, and kind of compare notes and talk about stuff. Yeah, can you stop the interloper? Not yet. I bet I if I know where it is. <laughs>